Hey y'all, today we are going to play a little standard merfolk, green-blue merfolk. Um, have a little different take than the, the list that I saw. Uh, we're trying uh, Song of Fray Release, which I haven't seen people utilizing. Um, but this is a powerful spell, um, lets you get your, your early merfolk out quickly, um, which helps to ab abuse uh, Kamena and deep wood deep root waters a little bit better um this is one thing i noticed with some of the lists is there just wasn't enough uh um, ways to really flood the board with your with your merfolk um you need to get a couple out but you could never really get kamena to where you want it to be activating that um tap five merfolk i've had a couple games hopefully i get to showcase this a little bit but had a couple games where we get to get Song online and Kamena out, and then the turn before Song pops, we can uh, tap five Merfolk, um, put counters on them. Song pops, they get another round of counters and indestructible and vigilance, and you really, you really make uh, make the opponent pay the price there. So that's kind of what we're shooting for. Um, two drop slot was a little heavy. I do think Deep Root Elite is probably should be a four of. Um, I'm not sure what to cut for it. I really like the the cantrip aspects of both Silvergill and Branchwalker. I think the deck needs stuff like that. Trickster is really the only thing to uh, to deal with uh, opposing creatures um, that are in your way when you're trying to be aggressive. Um, obviously, don't want to cut the Lord at all, and the songs uh, is kind of a mainstay of what we're trying to do here. So it was a little tough. Uh, we can maybe trim land. The curve does stop at. Um, at three mana, um, but you really want, really want to make sure you're hitting your land drops and and I guess uh, flooding out is is kind of a problem for this deck though. So we could maybe go down on land uh, to find room for those those two extra deep wood deep root elite. I think eight one drops is right uh, at the very least, and I believe these are the two best ones for the deck. Uh, there's a couple different uh, one drops you can utilize for Merfolk, but the unblockable has been super relevant. Um, and the uh, you know a two two for one, he's probably the best uh, the best one for the deck. Um, I tried like a Applied Biomancy was a pretty good one. Gets creatures out of your way, pumps your creature for a turn. Um, a dive down I think is pretty decent um, if they're if you're there, your opponent has answers to. Uh, Kamena or other Merfolk um, spell pierce. I've seen a few of those in main decks of uh, Merfolk lists, but um, this is kind of where I decided uh, for at least best of one for right now. I wanted to try to be as explosive as possible. Um, so we're going to give it a try in, uh, like I said, best of one um, and then see where we can go from there. Let's, uh, let's hop into some matches. Play. <clears throat> uh, the Merfolk deck in general is relatively cheap to, um, there's not a ton of rares in it, uh, so if you have some rares for, uh, for crafting purposes, uh, the deck's pretty easy to build. Um, the mana base is, you know, you got your Hinterwood, when Hinterwood Harbors and your, uh, Breeding Pools, but... Uh, you could probably slim down on those uh, to make the mana base a little bit tighter. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I guess this is a mulligan. If this was an untapped land, like a breeding pool, I'd be more about this hand. I'm going to throw this one back. Alright, that looks better. Second Lord, I will take. Next, so we got Miss Cloak Terald into Lord here. Um, and then possible Second Lord or Branch Walker. Looks like we could be up against Mono Red, which could be rough. We'll see. Sure is. All right, off to the races, I guess. Double 
double lord is pretty nice for racing purposes but gotta imagine this one's going to get bolted Well, let's just keep jamming them. I don't have to utilize burn on my lords. I think I'm okay with that. It would have kind of been nice to get deep root at waters out, but I don't know if we really have time for any of that. All right, well, that's frustrating. Wow. Mm, I think we're just dead. Couple chain where they're pretty hard to beat here. All right. And we had a pretty good hand too. Mono red is just too hard to beat. Yeah. All right, that's gonna do it for that one. Quick game. Let's hop into another. That game lasted all, of, you know, three minutes. At this rate, we'll get to play a lot of games though. All right, Merfolk, not your best showing, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do against all the lightning bolts? Guild gate, forest. Yeah, this is fine. No one drop, but still decent. Breeding pool. Wild Growth Walker, sure. We can live with that. Alright, what do we gotta do? Bridge Walker, Silver Gill? Seems, excuse me, seems like the most reasonable place. It's Silver Gill, show him our branchy, branchy boy. Start going off its song next turn a bit. This wild growth walker is gonna get out of control pretty quick. Ooh, choops. Okay. Kinda glad we hit the branch walker there. Then we can double branch walker instead of playing out our lords. Or not double branch walker. I guess we didn't need to hit a branch walker. We already had one. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play song. We're going to play song. We're going to play branch walker. And then next turn we'll be able to play double lord. Um, hmm. Which mana we have next turn? Six. Let's keep that. It seems like it could be useful. Um, kind of want to block. It doesn't have black mana at all. I guess we'll take this. Ooh, this is a spicy one. 
Beast Whisperer. Yep, 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 yep. This. We could play. Kamena. This is going off next turn. There's a black mana finally. Double Lord Prolus Song. Pretty good. And no attacks. Also pretty good. Is this good? Does this, is this, is this good thing we're doing here? Yeah! Alright, so we kind of got to showcase a little bit there, uh, Kamena and Song. Um, so we would have been able to attack with Vigilance there, uh, and the opponent would have had to jump block a bunch, and then next, we, we would have been able to put counters on our creatures still, um, with Kamena and, and whatnot, so... That was pretty. That was pretty good. I like that. Let's let's try to do that again. <clears throat> Took uh, Simic Soltai. Soltai rather. Opponent was stuck off of black when they had that troops in their hand um, for a bit too, so that helped out for sure. This hand looks good. Okay. Respectable. We just sit for three, probably. Be mono blue. It's probably mono blue. Yeah, definitely mono blue. Another one drop. No. Okay, that's good for us. Um, let's get coming out. Opt-in. Next turn we have Silver Gill plus Branch Walker. Hmm, it's a good one too. Let's see. Hmm. Let's play Branch Walker and I think hold up the tricks there. Another trickster seems fine. Uh, we're going to attack with everything. Might have a trickster of their own. Yeah. 
Okay. They could have a dive down to protect this. Got him. <clears throat> All right. Trickster on trickster action there. All right. Well, that was three rounds. All very quick, though. Um, let's go ahead and do at least one more. At least one more for you guys here. Only... If my rounds are only lasting until, like, turn three or four. Might as well give you some more. Ready? Sly Fox. It's fine. Guild Gate of the Selesnia variety. Um there's no reason to show them that we're merfolk. Doubt it changes anything they do, but it's just the gate deck. Gate deck seems like it could be a rough match for us if they have the sweeper. We're no red mana right now though. Branch Walker's better play. Mm, that seems good. Can tripping and and putting pressure on the board seems like where we want to be. Mm, there's the red. Alright, let's do song. Plus Silvergill. Yeah, deck might have too many lands. Especially seeing you get to utilize Song. I think we're gonna get our Merfolk killed here, unfortunately. We get to kind of rebuild a little bit with the Silver Guild plus a Mist Caller, but Guild Summit, okay. Whew, how crazy do we want to go here? Do we go all in? Sweeper just wrecks us. Lord, though, I think we just pass it from here. And you need to be able to rebuild if they have the sweeper. And if they don't, I think we're in pretty good shape anyway with Bray release going off. Okay. Gates are ablaze. And a 
if we have a second one here, I'm pretty sure we just can't win. But let's see. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Much damage we have here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do we play our other guys? Don't think we do. We have lethal through this anyway, and these unblockable could be pretty relevant. Let's pass. Yep. Oh boy, okay. Well, that's a thing that just happened. All right, let's get some unblockable boys out there. So much draw. <clears throat> I think this one's nearing the end for us. Especially with that draw. Not really sure what we could even draw to get out of this. Opponents just got their draw engine online. They have pressure. Um, we can't really, uh, we can't really deal enough damage to them at this point. Let the opponent have their fun though. If they don't start attacking me, I'm going to uh, I'm going to scoop it up. There's no reason for them to not attack with this angel at this point. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a good one. Classic 14-14, no big deal. We got an 8-8. Eight, eight. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Second 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a good showcase of what the Gates deck can do. Maybe I'll play this one next week. This deck looks fun. Just the 3 threes, huh? Sure. Insult to injury. I get, I get it. Let's draw a card and see what's up. And then... Promptly concede. Deep root waters. Not gonna cut it. Alright, GG's. Okay, well we got four matches in. They were all pretty quick. We ended up two and two with that, but 
lost to Mono Red, lost to Gates. Um, we beat Soltai. And. Man, just had the match, I can't remember. Let's pull up the deck. So. I like the deck. I think it can trim some lands. I, I think. Uh, I think it can go to. 21, so trim one lands. Don't think you want less than that. Um, so you do need to curve out, and I don't think the deck particularly mulligans particularly well. Um, so I don't want to increase the chances of mulliganing really. We'll probably trim a land for another deep root elite is what I feel the deck need it. Um, I think like if you can find a way to spit fit some main deck spell pierces in or dive downs I think those are good um, applied biomancy was pretty good for testing for me um, but yeah I mean overall decks a lot of fun it's very explosive and I think song and uh, Kamena and Deepwood Rewarders all play very very nice together um, so uh, if you are going to test out a Merfolk deck I would recommend trying out song um, and I haven't seen any lists with it currently um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this is a uh, this is an original original of mine. But if you do come across any lists that utilize song in the Merfolk build, ship them my way because I'd like to see what they're doing differently. Um, so I think it's uh, I think it's pretty it's pretty explosive in where you want to be with this deck. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video session. So I thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check out uh, the rest of the content on strictlyaveragemtg.com. Uh, lots of awesome authors there bringing you some really sweet content, uh, giving me a chance to show you my stuff as well. So big thanks to them. And if you want to see more from the Merfolk deck or just some more Magic Online or Magic Arena content, you can always check out my stream at twitch.tv slash dcmdame. Um, stream regularly on Mondays and Thursdays, but I usually add a, an additional stream in um, throughout the week, um, typically on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So definitely stop by the channel. If you mention this article, you want to see some more from the Merfolk deck, let me know. I'll gladly pull it up and play it for you. Um, deck's certainly not going anywhere for a while, so uh, more than happy to, to showcase that for you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, and have a good one. Adios.